Hey folks, it's IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alexi Assassin. He's in this T50-2, and this is a tier 6 game on Ensk. So, back in the day, before they took this tank out, and then nerfed it, and then brought it back, this used to be my favorite tank in the game. It was actually a lot of people's favorite scavenging tank, just because of the things you could do with it. And it's not nearly so awesome as it was back in the day, but it's still pretty cool. So we're going to watch him uh, probably dominate with this thing. Because this thing is good at dominating. Uh, if only things would work the way I wanted them to. There we go. Unfortunately, he did not pen that shot. Um, and why are we only get, getting these weird markers above people's heads? I don't know. Because World Tanks hates me, I swear. I ain't going into all that right now. <laughs> I just don't get right now. <laughs> so, uh, he's just sitting here. He's waiting for somebody else to try and poke or cross this gap or something. Um, it looks like it's probably not going to happen. There we go. He's not AFK no more. Um, I'm the don't get yourself caught on that thing, though. Cause, I mean, it looks like a sidewalk. And yet... Sidewalks generally don't do that to tanks. So, you know, there's that. Ooh. Oh, was we managed to bounce the shot that uh, should have hit us and then actually don't damage him with the return of rare. There we go. Finally, like four shots into the game, we get our first actual damaging shot. Oh, ooh, 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 that's not a good shot. Um, I like the way he backs up. He was going to use the building for cover. Thankfully, we didn't really need to because that was not, uh, this is not a smart plan. The whole, like, seriously? <laughs> there we go. Uh, Auto-aim is not your friend, by the way, most of the time. And coming out side on is definitely not a good plan. Alex is normally a lot smarter than this, so it's a little weird watching him uh, play this not as well as he should be. Um, but okay, whatever. It's a tier 6 game. He may be just doing this to have fun. You know, oh, is he almost kills <laughs> S35's DA. Uh, not quite with the first shell, though. So, unfortunately, he takes a shell in return for an, uh, ending its game. Another Toyo lands shown near us. That was the, uh, uh, the left. Ooh, I'm not able to land that shell. Looks like he's going to sit here and wait. I don't recommend this, considering the fact that LEF already put a shot near us. I mean, I'm kind of surprised he didn't drop a second shell just to see what would happen. There we go. There's another shell. But by then, we're already out of there. And we're definitely out of his range by now. So no more worries about that. Actually, looks like he's going to go back. Oh, nope. Got spotted. I think he was hoping to run all the way down the tracks, but got spotted way early on that. Does fire, does connect, doesn't do any damage. These auto aim shots are not doing you any favors. Um, however, Alex has noted that he gets pretty intense lag sometimes, which is one of the reasons he talks about using auto aim as much as he does, so that. You know, the server always knows which what he's locked onto kind of thing. Even if his screen is not necessarily in the right place. Um, looks like he wants to take out the VK before he heads back to Cap. Basically, wanting to secure his flank and make sure that he's not going to have anything sneak up behind him while he's on his way back. Just gonna oh, the drive-by didn't quite work. Thankfully, the VK could not aim in in time. And that was the end of him. A VK2801 is a fairly good tank. But uh, not if you don't hit nothing. There we go. Taking out the Sug 3 and then looking to take out that LEF. Oh. Friendly gets the kill and said, oh well. Whatever, right? With only three enemies left on the enemy team, all our allies have grouped in one location. Um, um, I just noticed that apparently at some point my camera has moved 
Oh no, I did that, didn't I? And I forgot. I was supposed to fix that <laughs> when I had time yesterday. Uh, things you remember not at the right times. Oh, brother. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I don't have time right now, but I will, will try and remember to fix it for tomorrow. We'll see that. Uh, we're going to speed this up because enemies look like they're over near our cap. And they're definitely not over here, so why, you know, why keep it nice and slow as we, we get there. Um, he is looking for allies to push up with him. He does have, um, Jay entered it on his team, in his platoon. Um, and I think he was hoping the T67 would push up with him. It's not what happened. And his ally is going to end up taking some fire here in a second. He's got 40 seconds left to uh, to get around. And this thing can move. So that 40 seconds is actually a thing. How can actually resets the caps. And um, let's just get all the way around him as the M44 takes out our ally. Tracking the Hellcat is actually going to make it nearly impossible for it to get it to get its turret all the way around, and that is going to be the end of the Hellcat. However, the Leopard made it all the way, all the way back to the other side of the map and took out our capping T67. I'm not certain why the T67 stood in one place and let the Leopard kill him, but obviously the Leopard. I, I hope the leopard ambushed him and not you know, sat there while C67 died kind of thing. Um, but you never know. Sometimes your allies are not worth the sand that you're rolling across. <laughs> Thankfully though, we have killed the leopard and it is now a duel between us and an M44. Um, you can just cap this out really easily. Uh, you can run all the way around the map and find the best place to hide um, and like wait in ambush but I think probably oh no he's not going to catch it he's in fact going to run all the way around the map uh, and get in the location where he can snipe at this guy and the M44 is smart enough to realize oh he's looping around the map I need to be on the other side and so the M44 is over here somewhere in these, um, I was going to say bushes, but they're, they're not, there's no bushes over there. Um, yeah, there's, there's no way, reason to cap the M44 is actually sp speedy enough to get over to the wrong side of the map. Wow. To interrupt a cap is going to be a kind of like hunting him down. The problem with the M44 is it can move if it decides it wants to. And I am, oh, it, it has decided it wants to cap. So I guess it's trying to pull us in. The only fortunate thing for the M44 is the fact that we can see it and it cannot see us right now. Um, oh, as it tucks itself in against the train. Really great plan. plan. From the M44, as we can't do anything about it. Nope, not gonna have a live fire on it. Gonna have to get somewhere a little bit closer. The thing is, the um, we can actually come down these tracks, and because of the fact that we can see like half the map because we're in a scout tank, um, we're gonna be able to see the M44 long before he's able to see us. Unless you do something like this. This is gonna, I mean, so you could pull up to like here, see him fire and still not be seen. Because the M44 is blind. Nope, nope. We are, in fact, at 100%. This is just how fast this thing moves. Um, he could pop back out and do the same shot again. But, I mean, it's going to be risky doing that more than once in a row. And 
now the M44 obviously knows where we were. Uh, it looks like he's rolled off this side of the circle. He can't be coming to hunt us. He's not nearly fast enough. He can be rolling over this way. And so maybe we spot him. Yes, we do. Is he looking this way? He is not. No, we bounced the shell. Second one goes in. Third one is not going to be able to find it. As the M44 is over there somewhere. And obviously behind cover. I would assume the M44 is going to tuck himself into a spot. Where he is going to be. Um, basically he's going to need us to come and dig him out of a spot. Nope. He's not here. He was chasing us. He, uh, he went this way. Maybe over here? Or maybe he's in one of these four corners. That would be my guess. Those would be the spots I would go to if I was in M44 trying to survive this map. Oh! He shoots first. He actually shotguns darn close to us. Close enough to set our crew on edge. Not close enough to kill us if he had, um, if that shell had flying, flown just a tiny bit further, like even landing here with our tracks being here, that would have been the end of us. But thankfully, that snapshot just came off a little too fast, and we won that game. Oh, right? Let's jump over and see what his battle results were. Master Batch, Ace Tanker, Hand of God, Bruiser, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Three Bonds from a Tier 6 game is nice. Defender, High Caliber, and Top Gun. Wow. Okay. That was a fun game. Um. <laughs> the amount of shots he, he, he took to kill that poor Hellcat, though, was pretty awesome. Um, overall, this was a great game. Uh, I really, really enjoyed it. I can't wait for Alex to send in his next game. And, um, yeah, this was great. Thank you so much, Alex, for sending this in. This is the build-up to tomorrow's game. Tomorrow should be an epic battle. Um, and uh, this was hopefully just a nice teaser for that. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're expecting something bigger and better tomorrow, it's a good plan. Because something definitely bigger and better is coming out tomorrow. And I'll see you then. Have a great day. This is IOE Threat.